Hello guys, this is Ellis Photoshop. Welcome to uh, episode 2 of Photoshop 101. In this episode, I'll be teaching you how to make fabric texture in Photoshop. There's two ways I know of doing it, and I'll be teaching you these ways. So, just make a new layer, a uh, new uh, image, 920 by 1080. For, uh, the first way you want to do is fill it with black. Then go on Filter, Texturize, Texture, and Texturizer. And once scaling at 91 and 2, and make sure the light is top and that's okay. Just gonna make this a layer and duplicate it. Put this on screen. Go on uh, filter, sharpen, and sharpen it. You go image adjustments and curves and turn it up. And you got this uh, kind of power texture but if you want to make it uh, a squared kind of fabric texture you can just duplicate this layer and then make it look like this yeah. and that's one way of doing a fabric texture in Photoshop I'll show you the other way I know this isn't really my way, I do like doing it this way, the one I'm going to show you right now. Just make a new layer, fill it with uh, about light gray, 50%, and then go on filter, <coughs> render, fibers, and make uh, the vibers 21 and the strength 40, 45, and press OK. Then uh, duplicate the layer, free transform, and just rotate it about 90 degrees. Put it on uh, screen or overlay, whatever. Which one? On overlay will be darker, and on screen will be just lighter. So right now, let's just stick with the uh, screen. And then after you've done this right here, you already have uh, a good-looking fabric. We just make a new layer. So make a new layer. Um, sorry. Uh, fill it with white. Filter noise, add noise, make it about 12.4. I had the right color before. Um, yeah, like that. And filter noise, add noise, make it about 12.4. Go on filter, blur, motion blur, about uh, 90 degrees, distance for make it 50. And press OK. And then duplicate this again and do the same thing. Rotate, rotate it 50 degrees. There you go. We'll put it on uh, overlay or screen. So we're just going to make this darker. There you go. And then, um, just uh, merge these together put it on screen turn the opacity down and you, you got this nice seamless fabric texture to it you can make this darker or you can do the same thing and put this on overlay it'll be darker so you already got this nice fabric texture to it and uh, if you want to add wrinkles to the fabric, it's pretty easy. Just a uh, self-rounded brush. First, one make it white and select it every size you want. You know. I'm just gonna do this fast so I can show you. Just do them like this, and then duplicate this. Um, just uh, put the lightness down. Move to the side and I'll merge them together. Filter. Uh, blur, Gaussian blur, and turn it up like this. Then put it on overlay and turn it down about 10%. And you got this wrinkle effect to it. Like again, you can uh, use screen. It'll be just like not even realistic. Um, you can mess with the opacity to whatever you like, but I like to keep it at 10%. And if you'd like to make this a pattern to use in your 
backgrounds, you just select the select rectangle selection tool, um, edit and define pattern, and just pattern name whatever you want. And thanks guys for watching this tutorial. Um, if you could please tell everyone about this series, share it on Facebook and Twitter. Um, next week I might be doing a tutorial on how to do whatever you want. Just post it on the comment section below and I'll do it. Thank you. Thanks for watching and this is Alice Photoshop. Thank you. Bye.